Okay. Hi, this is Lucky Smith reporting for Star Over News Magazine. I'm here with John Hart. How are you yeah, doing yeah. today? I'm good. How are you doing? I'm doing good. So we're here doing behind the scenes footage with I Can't Feel My Legs. How do yeah. you feel about your new song? Ah, the song is dope. It's um, I Can't Feel My Legs featuring Chanel from Young Money. Um, it's a sexy club banger, R&B club banger, um, with just a good vibe and feel to it. So I'm really excited about it. And all right, I've been following you now since uh, for for a few months since last year you went solo, okay. and you've been since 2012 to now. You already got labeled as Prince of the Bay. <laughs> How do you feel about that title? I think it's an honor. I mean, I think it's a lot of talent in the Bay that goes unrecognized, um, and I think for my music being able to be heard on a national platform, now international platform. Like, I couldn't ask for more. Like, I'm very happy, I take it seriously, and I'm up for the challenge to live up to that, so it's dope. And you were with the outfit, the boy band before, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah, and the boy band. <laughs> wait, how long were you with that group before? I know you went out, went solo in 2012, but... Yeah, we were rocking for about three and a half years. Um, rocking, and I went solo in 2012, and I ended up getting signed in September 2012. So it was just a crazy transition from leaving the group, doing my solo thing, and just where I am now. Crazy. So 2012, like, also I wanted, cause like I, when I listen to your music, I can hear a lot of different inspirations. Where are some of your musical inspirations that you've had? My musical inspirations are, are it's a variety. I would say like, of course, Michael Jackson. I mean, like, as far as him being an overall entertainer, it's crazy. I really respect Usher. Usher is definitely a big influence for me. I grew up, you know, young and watching Usher do his thing. And then people... Close. What's your favorite Usher song? You know, it's a lot. From from You Make Me Wanna to The Confessions. You I know, know Burn, like, right? It, it, that was everybody's song. Yeah, it's like, I mean, it's, it's a lot of songs from him. Um, so even people closer to my age group, like Chris Brown, um, Trey Songz, they're really dope uh, artists who I look up to on the R&B side. As far as like from the Bay Area, I grew up like you know listening to Tony 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 um, as a, as a youngster. Um, Tony Tony Tony, of course E40, Too Short, people like that are definitely Bay um, legends. Even Keisha Cole did her thing as far as putting on for the Bay. Um, so I mean, a, my musical influences you know cover a, a wide variety of. But you're not just about the Bay, though. You've linked up with Problem. You've linked up with French Montana. You've, you're linked up with... Uh, so now, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. So you're doing a crossover, yeah, too. Yeah, I've been fortunate to work with, you know, a lot of different people from from New York to, to L.A. To, to the South, you know what I'm saying? So it's been it's been a blessing to, to work with other people, too, just not outside the Bay as well. So How do you... Um, how did you end up getting these people featuring your albums and songs? I mean, it happens in all now. different type of ways. Reach out. You might see somebody at a show. Talk to them. Hey, I'm working on something. Can you hop on it? I'm gonna know with Chanel since that's the most recent thing that we're pushing right yeah. now. That we're gearing up, you know, for yeah. right now. Um, I was in the studio recording. I can't put my legs track, and I heard her mixtape. Um, first off, the track is me, and it's featuring the female. We have a female um, throughout the whole song. And I listened to her mixtape, Midnight Mimosas, and I was like, I heard her voice, and I'm like, yo, that's what's going to complete this record. And so we reached out, talked to her, she hopped on the record, we've been rocking ever since. So, right on. Really good. So how is this album different from Heart to Heart? This new project is different because, I mean, it's, it's just all... It's just it's everything I do is just gonna keep evolving, evolving, evolving. Um, I think for this new project, you're gonna get same, that same boo booty sound. Like I have more of that. That's like my signature boo booty. I can't feel my legs. I would say it's in that same boo booty vein. Yeah. I have this other record um, called TKO that's in the same boo booty vein. So you'll still get that. But then I have some truer R&B tracks too, like some slower, truer R&B stuff. And then I also have some. Um, I have a little bit of everything, some, some up-tempo, some mid-tempo, so I have a good variety of everything, I'll say. And I think just as I go through different things, just as an artist in, in my personal life, that also reflects through the music. I'm a party guy, like, I like to have fun, so you'll hear, like, a lot of different turn-up party stuff coming from me, so. And you recently got signed with Ep um, Epic. Mm -hmm. How does, how, how has your career changed since you've been signed? I think everything just goes to a 
a bigger platform. It's like um, when I was independent, like doing videos, like me calling the directors, I'm a management reaching out to just everything being on a bigger platform. Like everything is bigger from videos to photo shoots to where my music went. Again, yeah, Boo Booty wasn't a regional record, it was a national record. It went all the way across yeah. the U.S. and it actually went overseas too. So, you know, just the, the, the reach is, is totally different. Oh yeah, Boo Booty is hot. Yeah. Like, we need that song of the day for <laughs> the magazine. And then the weekend when I was like, it was confirmed that I was going to be interviewing you, as soon as I turned on the radio, Who Booty came on, I, was, I started laughing. <laughs> That's great. So... Yeah. All right, you've been signed. You're 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 going all the way to the top from your career right here at this point. What would you say was your craziest moment as an artist? You you got any crazy stories that you just want to sit there and be like, I just can't <laughs> believe this shit happened right now? I think just looking at different girls' reactions. I mean, honestly, like like whether it's at a club show, just some of the things that. Uh, some of my supporters or, or girls have told me, like, after I got off stage, like, <laughs> it's probably kind of X-rated, so we're not going to talk about that. Okay. But, uh, <laughs> um, I think now what, what's been just a crazy moment in general, um, this this summer, I got to do six summer jams. Okay. And just been able to perform in an arena with, like, that many people is crazy for me. Like, again, because I perform in clubs or whatever where there's from 10 people all the way to... I think my biggest show, I, I did a Cali Ultra Festival and there was like yeah. uh, like 80,000 people there. You know what I'm saying? So I performed in that big of a spectrum. A little and bit think, of stage fright at all? Or? Not, when I did my first arena, it was just uh, getting used to it. Because like it's just a whole different environment. Like when you're in a club and stuff, or if you're like at a festival, or if you're in certain um, certain venues, like it's it's more intimate and it's different. But when you're in an arena and you have to connect with the person sitting way way in the back like it's a challenge but it's crazy for me to even be in that position and i love it it's like it's, it's kind of surreal like damn like you really are here right now coming from you know 10 people so and i've listened to your album um one of my favorite songs is alone that okay. that, that you did do you ever get any feed, any feedback from family or from personal friends like you know why are you talking about me for or you know shit like that <laughs> Um, I think there's a few people out there who, who hear certain records, not even just alone, but certain records, and be like, I don't know, did you write that about me? And I'd be like, I don't know. <laughs> so. Yeah. Okay, um, yeah. right, so you're, and I understand that you're going on tour, Australia, coming up in next month, right? Yeah, I'm actually doing a, a five city tour next month um, out there. It's going to be my first um, time going out the country to perform. Um, I've been out the country for, you know, personal leisure stuff, but this is my first time actually going to rock and doing, doing a five-city tour out there, so I'm really excited about that. Um, and besides that, I'm still doing a lot of shows, like, in the U.S. all over. Like, I just came back from Denver. I went to Florida. Um, When's your next show week? in Cali? Uh, I just had one um, in the Bay on Friday. Okay. Um, I'm going to Texas on Wednesday and Thursday, and then I'm coming back and have another show in uh, Sacramento on next Saturday. Next Saturday? Yeah. Well, you stay busy. Try. That's the only way. If, if I'm not working, I don't feel right. I, like, if I'm just at the house, like, sitting down, like, I don't feel right. <laughs> and how, all right, I have to ask this, but when, how old were you when you started performing? Like, when you got signed with the, what, started, you can't actually, be anymore yeah, in 22. I'm 24 now, and I was rocking yeah. with them, and that's when I really started performing, performing, like, in the group. So, it was some years back. It was at 19, 20, something like that, around there. Oh, wow. So you, what would you say, like you have a really good work ethic Thank for for being so young. What would you say was a great influence for that? I think <laughs> myself, <laughs> but also I think um, I have a few role models as far as like older cousins and stuff like that. And just to, just to see them work like that and still working in me. I mean, but it's well known in the music industry, entertainment in general, like, you, you always see people like, you don't sleep, and that's true, it's because like, you can't, like, you always got to keep working, you always got to stay active doing something, whether you're recording in the studio, whether you're doing a show, whether you're doing an interview, whether whatever, radio, whatever, yeah. it's like, this industry is so, our attention spans in 2013 are so short, so it's like, you got to keep everybody's attention, you got to keep reinventing, doing something new, coming with something else hot, 
to bring everybody in. You know what I'm saying? And, and we do it for the fans. You know what I'm saying? Like I do it for all my supporters, all my fans. Like that's why I do it to keep putting out music and to keep going hard. So, what's your um, favorite song so far that you have produced? And before, like, I actually like don't on the have front. one favorite, and this is why because I'm in the studio all the time. So it's like I make a record on Monday, love it, and let's say I go back to the studio on Wednesday, I make another record. I'm in love with that. It just keeps on going and going and going because it's like I'm constantly creating. So what's my favorite today might not be my favorite tomorrow. So right now your favorite right. is I can't feel my legs. No, actually, it's one of my favorites. But your favorite? Yeah, but I've been recording since then. <laughs> okay, so, so there's something else yeah, that so you Yeah, so there's a lot of other stuff like just in the, in the pipeline. But what I, what I can say, like, everything that I do, all my songs, like, I have a certain connection to because I put my, you know, a heart and soul into each one that I do. So there's something special about every one of my songs that shows different sides to me. Like, you know, Alone shows that breakup relationship side. Yeah, on Valentine's Day. Right, and then if you look at I Can't Feel My Legs, it's talking about some sexy bedroom putting it down on your chick, like making it to where she can't feel her legs. I mean, you know what I'm saying? But, so I haven't it's heard the song size. yet. Yeah, yeah. Um, and this uh, this video is going to drop when? Uh, I don't, we don't know. I don't have a date for the, uh, the release date yet. We're brother. shooting it today, and we're going to gear everything up, and we're going to get it out there. And then, uh, yo. If people want to follow you, everything, um, your tour dates, just hit you up at. Yeah, if you want to follow me, man, come support the movement. Big shout out to all my team, Arthrobs. That's the movement right there. Um, you can check me out on Twitter, Facebook, Instagram at 4 John Hart. Number 4, J-O-N-N-H-A-R-T. And then check out my website, johnhartmusic.com. And rock with me. Everything will be there. And just to support and join the movement. And, oh, I just have another question. All right, you're very you you're doing a crossover. You're working with a lot of artists. Who's the next one that you want to work with? Who's the next one that? I, that I, but um, I would love to work with Chris Brown actually. He was just here in LA on Wednesday for Big Boy's birthday party. Yeah, I want to yeah. work with Chris. That'd be dope. That'd yeah, be dope. he's uh, from what I hear. I haven't like worked with interviewing yet. He's very nice. Ah, yeah. oh, so all right then. I am going to go ahead and wrap this up. Is there anything else you want to add? Um, big shout out Cool Kid Cartel, man, that's my label um, that I started. So, you know, we coming, got some artists coming, and we're just going to keep building, and we're going to do this all the way to the top. So, Thank appreciate y'all. Thank you very much. Yeah. This is Lucky Smith.